Hello and welcome to South First. I am Chaitana Belgire and today with us we have joined by most versatile person um, who is actor turned politician, member of BJP and she is also National Commission for Women, member for National Commission for Women. Welcome to South First. Thank you. Um, first thing first, the, what is your takeaway from the Women's Reservation Bill? Did you wish for it to come by 2024? Yes, I think we have been fighting for this Women's Reservation Bill for more than 60 long years. We have been looking forward to this and at some point, at every given point rather, it has been postponed for some reason or the other. Um, but I am glad that finally it is stable both and it is passed both uh, very smoothly in uh, Lok Sabha as well as the Rajya Sabha. So I am very glad and like every woman of this country, uh, you know, in, in, we are in the 21st century but we are still fighting for the 33 percent reservation and finally it is like a dream come true. But how do you respond to the criticism that, you know, delay, this will delay the, uh, you know, considering it for the delimitation might actually delay the process? See, everything there is a process. We have waited for more than 60 long years. Delimitation for 50 long years, it has been pushed in the back burners. So finally, something is coming forward. So let's rather than criticizing and finding the opposition, rather than finding ways that how to delay it further, I think we should look forward to it. That is finally tabled. It has come through and it will be implemented by 2029. Uh, and delimitation again. Like you know, everyone knows it is the mandatory of the constitution am amendment of India and for 50 long years we have not even done the census. So I think uh, you know the delimitation which is supposed to be done, it is not done. So let us take it forward. Uh, okay. One step at a time is what I would say. Okay. BJP seems to be in a tough spot in Tamil Nadu. Do you agree to that and how do you view the AIDMK walking out of the alliance? I would not be able to come in much on it because we have senior leaders and we have a BJP state president Anamale is speaking about it. So I do not think it would be right on my part to sit in Bangalore and give up my comments about it because the problems happen and they, they escalate more when everybody has their opinions. I think you have the heads to discuss the problem and clear it and sort it out. So we should leave it to them to do it. Does Karnataka election results, has it given a kind of backseat to BJP in the south itself? Not at all. Not at all. We knew that Karnataka, how it works, uh, the election, how it works, it is like five years, five years, five years back and forth. It keeps going. So, I am um, not perturbed about it. Neither any of the BJP uh, members are perturbed about it. What is forward is what is going to happen in 2024 and we look forward to that. That is extremely important to us. But again, coming back to Tamil Nadu, it is still slightly lull there and even the Andhra, it is going at a slow pace, you know, considering that. I would rather go to the old story, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> we are not in a hurry. We are not looking at, you come for five years and five years later, somebody else would form a government. When we come, we uh, whether it is Andhra Pradesh or Tamil Nadu, when we form a government, we are looking at a long term vision. We are looking at 15, 20 years of BJP government. So we are working towards that. We are building right from the lower base. We are working with the Kadas. We are building the relationship with the voters. And today, the kind of euphoria you see in Tamil Nadu, uh, BJP is almost looked like uh, like a opposition by the DMK, by the ruling government, where we used to be the fourth and fifth page news in a small bracket and a small column. Today we are the front page news, we are the wa uh, you know wave making BJP party of uh, Tamil Nadu. So I think I take it that in a very, very positive manner and I think that we will uh, form a government very soon. How do you respond to this criticism of BJP indulging in communal politics? Example, the recent uh, parliamentary session where you know the MP actually hurled at the Muslim. See, any, any political party, I think they should understand that all people, all, all the, the, the member, the, the country people of this India or Bharat as we call, I think we all come together to make this country flourish and move forward. Everybody, whichever caste or religion they belong to, they belong to our country. And I think every political party needs to understand that there has to be one Mariyada, there has to be one Lakshman Rekha, there has to be one, uh, you know, a forum where you do not, a decorum of decency, where you do not cross those lines. And anybody for that matter from any party is not acceptable. So, uh, you were here in Karnataka to take note on the Udupi uh, video recording incident. So, uh, there were a lot of you know comments made on the communal angle as well. So, how did you, what do you consider about this? I was here not as a BJP member, I was here as an NCW and whatever the reports we had collected, we have spoken to the police, we have had uh, given it to NCW head and the uh, Women and Child Development uh, Ministry. Now, though, since uh, the case has been taken over by uh, CID, uh, CID, I don't think we will be able to indulge much in it. And 
and I would like to reserve my comments on it because it's a different body altogether who is taking charge and they are investigating. Now I leave it to the government of Karnataka to come out with the results rather than again pushing it that there is something else to look forward to and push this into the background. Ma'am, that's very nice of you that you had to come uh, to Udupi, I mean, in the just three days, but then there was there is a lot happening in Manipur, but then, you know, I know I'm coming back to the question, which has been probably asked you hundreds of times, yes. but then why, why didn't you go there? When did you get to know? You are, you are the press, you get to know about it first. When did you get to know about that incident? Of course, late. The gravity of the problem we all understood after the video was surfaced, after 78 days, that's when we got to know about it. The gravity of this the situation there was not very good i understand we did not receive a complaint ncw had received a very general complaint that women are being targeted there was no specification as to how the women were targeted how they were subjected to this kind of cruelty and sexual assault nothing was given to us so we were in obvious just as you were being in the press because press is the fourth democratic um, uh, you know pillar for us and you get to know the last so we are of course much later than that so uh, we got to know it and we will be able to react on it only when we get a message or we get a re a reports about it. As a BJP member, I think the Prime Minister was doing everything, our Home Ministry was doing everything to control. Let us understand, let us go into again the gravity of the situation where it was funded by the borderlines, it was funded by different parts of, uh, of the borders and how the problem was between the two communities of tribe and it was infuriated it it was adding fuel to the fire by you know it's more of a vindictive kind of a problem you do it to my woman i do it to your woman what hurts me and what actually troubles me is that you have a fight why women are subjected to this kind of violence and rather than thinking as a political person or as anything else i would like to look into this situation as a woman as a woman of this country where i say that i'm proud to call myself as an indian and this is where I feel that women should not be subjected to any kind of cruelty just because you think she is the best target or that's the only way you can be vindictive. And I would like to work on those lines and not look into it as a political person. So now has NCW interfered and in doing anything? Yes, it was Im immediately Sumutu was taken. Um, uh, our chairperson had gone to Manipur. She did go there. And I think once chairperson is there, she has taken control of it and the, the uh, issue is all of the matter is already with us. Yeah. Um, you have been criticized for changing parties. Does Kushbu <laughs> have an ideology at all? Like, what See, is who doesn't change party? People who accuse me of changing parties are themselves who have come from different parties. So whether it's Congress who has welcomed people from BJP, whether it is CPS who has welcomed people from different parts, or you have Congress and CPI fighting together in uh, Kerala but fighting against each other in West Bengal. So I mean, where are you working? What ideology these political parties or the leaders are talking about? I have my ideology and my ideology is very simple that I need to serve my country. Which party is going to do better for my country? I'm going to stick to them. And I think after very long term, I have realized that yes, BJP means good for the country, for the nation, for the next generation, the aspiration of this country. And I would like to stick to BJP because I know working so closely with the Prime Minister, I understand that this party is about making the nation go forward and not putting things which matter in the, at the back burner. The recent Bihar caste census has actually kind of given a given some strength to India uh, bloc. Now, is is this going to affect BJP in any way? Definitely not. What caste census we are talking about? Bihar, why is it the caste census were not done earlier? Why just before the election they are doing the caste census? And all the alliance of the so-called India, what they have come together. Please tell me, BJP as well as the alliance parties, wherever they rule the top officers are of upper caste. So what is the census, caste census they are talking about? And where was this? And this caste census is generally taken. It's not, it's it's like Ravi Shankar Prasad uh, has very clearly said he belongs to uh, Bihar. People went to him, they spoke to him, they didn't ask him anything. To, oh, you're there, you're present, okay, and they walked away. How many of them, the actual voters were spoken to? It's just like, you know, as, as if I look at it as a farce. Okay, yes. okay. Yes, it's it's just a cover up. You need to say something so you're saying it. Please give us a proof. How many people were spoken to? Nothing is done about it. And what's caste census? Do they even know the, the minorities they talk about? Do they even know the amount of minorities, how much it numbers to in India? How much of minorities they have in Tamil Nadu? No, they don't. 
so i think caste censuses is you need to work on those lines and then rather than just releasing a caste censuses saying that okay i have done it if they have done it i'm glad but we all know every educated and thinking mind person will know that just that to cover up all all that is happening in bihar this caste censuses has come up Okay, I have one last question to ask you. Is it difficult as a woman? Is it difficult to be a politician or an actress? Both. It's not easy. A woman, whichever field she goes to, she has a lot of restrictions. She has. You still, unfortunately, we 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 have got thirty three percent of reservation in parliament, and probably the people who have been opposing is probably they think with uh, more than eight hundred and forty six. If if the limit delimitation comes up. Uh, you know the numbers are going to go high so probably the representation of men in the parliament is going to be much less a so one third will go to women which is more than 200 and close to 280 uh, you know so i think that is what is worrying them more that they will see more of women power in in uh, uh, parliament but uh, as a woman as an actor as an as a politician every day is a fight every day is a struggle every day we need to prove ourselves because men find it very easy uh, saying that women in politics or cinema it's an easy for them it's an easy target to malign to call her names or you know just to show that they 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 have this they are one about the women so i don't i don't think it's anything different thank you very much ma'am it was wonderful having you here that is all we have for today thank you